Aquarius, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be looking at your energies for the month of October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, we'll be looking only and only love energies between you and your person, okay? So let's get started for your reading. So what's coming up for my Aquarius and their person for the month of October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign? What's coming up for my Aquarius and the person? We will be looking at your feelings and thinking towards them, their feelings and thinking towards you, obstacles and what's coming up in the future for both of you, okay? So let's get started. And as you all know that this is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. One person or, you know, both of them, it looks like you both have that charm, you know, that uh, strong Venus energy. All the Aquarius is an air sign. But uh, it's like, you know, one person or the both of them, you know, you have so many attention seekers. You are not that. Maybe you are or your person is an attention seeker. But it's like, you know, you're asking, but people are giving attention. You know because of the charm which you have towards people okay so your person's feelings towards you is the temperance I don't know whether I don't know I feel that you are waiting or you are dealing with a person or you're, you're in a relationship which has already been ended this is a dead-end relationship you are into because you have their feelings and their thinking towards you it's ended i don't know who this person is aquarius you're dealing with but uh you could be dealing with a sagittarius or another air sign but um, it looks like they, they are not in the relationship anymore they have moved on from you three of cups they have already they are already seeing other people they are already moving on they are enjoying with other people I don't know Aquarius because the energy which I am getting is really of somebody who has already moved on in their life. Five of Swords. All they carry. In fact, you know, the, the bad part is they have moved on but they do not carry good energies towards you as well. Maybe you both had a very bad fight when you both separated. And all of a sudden, you know, they do not carry some strong, good energy, which I feel. Maybe one of you betrayed the other one. It could be your energies or their energies towards you. Just take as it resonates. It can be vice versa. But one person betrayed the other one. And that's why, you know, the other person, the, the one who has been betrayed carries a lot of negative thoughts towards the other person. And this is how it's coming up. Their thinking towards you is the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords along with the Ace of Swords. I don't know why I'm getting so many of Swords energy. It's like, you know, there's a lot of a lot of arguments happened between both of you. A lot of fights happened. One person started to feel stuck. A lot of stuck energies are seen when you both were in a relationship. And that's why a person is, you know... They, their feelings are off but their thinkings are not off yet because of the betrayal which has happened. If they did the betrayal thing, they are definitely going to get something out of it. The karma is watching. But if you did the betrayal thing, you know, it's possible that they are waiting for you to get the karma. Karmic balancing justice in your feelings towards them. I don't know. But the karmic energies are coming up you know it's 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 like karma is like a boomerang you get back what you give you know you will receive it so this is how the cards are playing a story of a karmic imbalancing between two people the lovers and the two of pentacles see how it's like you both were lovers you were together for a long period of time or a short period it doesn't matter but you know the balancing has been done by the universe the universe is like you know now i'm going to show you what you both couldn't see 
two of pentacles along with that so i feel that this is like something big which happened between both of you and that's why one person is holding the grudges strong strong grudges are seen holding by one person towards the other because of the betrayal which has happened the queen of pentacles in your thinking towards them i need to clarify it why the queen of pentacles is here king of wands with the tower i don't know who these energies are with the king of wands and the queen of pentacles in your life aquarius but maybe it is possible that either you know one person became very materialistic that's why the other the person chose the other person uh, other than your person you know you chose or they chose somebody else a third party was there because of the mat strong materialistic needs which some a person had for themselves strong materialistic needs that you know i will get success i will get money if i go towards that that person and that's why all of a sudden you know the the relationship ended and it feels like you know it is it's it, it's coming up that it can be possible it's, it's it's in your end if this is your energies aquarius possible that you know the betrayal happened because of you and that's why all of a sudden your thought your feelings you know somewhere one person is feeling that regret there is that guilt inside that you know i i did wrong but things happened you know murphy's laws what has to happen ha will happen so this is how is it's done the obstacle in your relationship is the communication thing eight of wands there is no communication in your relationship anymore that is what i feel and that's why you know because of no communication there is no apologies one person is really waiting for an apology to come from the other one even if the apology comes it's not very easy to let it go one person is not able to let go and the one person is really stuck and that's why the other person is also feeling that stuck energies because of because if if you are the one who betrayed your person or if you uh, your person is the one who betrayed you so whoever it is the person who betrayed is the one who is not able to move on because of the other person is not ready to let you go so easily so six of wands is here six of wands is here why six of wands is here for the coming of future the moon and five of wands it's really hard to say that you both will communicate but if the communication happens there will be again fights and arguments and uh, it's not coming up as a very positive sign so try to communicate less with this person because there is a lot of negativity but it, this negativity needs to go away so that is something which i would really recommend you that uh, you know try to just let go of this person if this person is still there if you're contacting them and nothing is coming up try to let go of this person if you really want to live happy all right so that's all from my side aquarius i hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye